if the game is not fun, you cannot sell it and uh, people will not play it. Um, so this is the overriding principle. Of course, that doesn't mean that there isn't sometimes a message in there. If I do an energy game, then there may be a message about green versus not green. But it's not about teaching or telling people this is good and this is bad. Rainer Knizia developed over 200 games, mostly board games, for which he received numerous awards. Submarine Channel talked to the enthusiastic game designer about the new dynamics of today's games. Our life today has a very high pace, a high speed, and I think the games need to reflect that as well. If you look at the traditional games, drafts, checkers, chess, they develop very slowly, and they take quite a long time to develop the dynamics. I think today you need games, new games, which have a very different drive. So my example is Through the Desert. It is a game which is very simple to understand because people don't have a much patience to learn rules anymore. Uh, you are in the desert, you build caravans of camels, but there are water holes you want to get to. The first one to get there gets them. There is territory you want to ring fence with your camels. And at the end, you want to have the biggest caravans in all the different colors. And so I want to do all these things. And what? I can only place two camels a turn? So much to do and so few turns. Of course, Lord of the Rings has a lot of fans. Uh, so you need to be true to the spirit of the book. Uh, that means I cannot change the viewpoint of the book. We are the fellowship. We need to see that from this point of view because that's what people are used to and expect to see in the game as well. Uh, so suddenly you have the situation, hmm, but if I'm Frodo and I'm Sam, they don't fight each other. So suddenly you get the challenge of there is no opponent. We have a cooperative game. So then you need to build the game mechanics which brings out the evil, the Sauron, the, the dark forces. And that brings a very nice psychological aspect to the game because the basic cooperative game is built on people talking to each other and helping each other uh, trying to succeed in the game together. It's not because the, the rules say this is cooperative but because the game system is so cruel and throws so many things at us that we immediately know if we don't help each other then we are lost. So you need to communicate a lot and suddenly with the Sauron expansion you have another player sitting there and listening in your conversation. He says, oh, I don't have any of these cards, and I have these strong cards. And of course, he plays against you, so he gets all the knowledge. So suddenly, you don't want to communicate anymore, but you need. And it's exactly what this dark force, it's everywhere, so you have to be careful. It's, it's, uh, that's what I try to build in spirit into the, into the game, so that you really get the same feeling, the same experience as when you read the book in a way. Every game designer has his own handwriting and his own strengths. Uh, so I know that people come from the graphical side and they draw a board and say, I don't know how the game works, but I draw the board and then I get an idea and so that's how the game develops. Uh, I'm more the scientific person, uh, the, the mathematician, and it helps you because uh, mathematics is about building models and uh, simplifying uh, complex systems. Uh, but I've also learned that games are not about mathematics games are about fun and enjoyment and so I'm using my strengths where I can but I also need to be careful that I don't try to calculate everything and uh, there is a good saying of the psychologist uh, Watzlawick uh, he says if all you have is a hammer mathematics and then everything in the world will look will very soon look like a nail I mean you cannot calculate fun you have to play it and once you play it with people, the mathematics goes very much into the background. And it's, it's really watching people, watching the kids, how do they play it, and optimizing the game, make it robust so that it's enjoyable for many, many people, not just for one group who have a condition how to play it. And all of this is scientifically doable, but I think it's the wrong way. It is, uh, once again, uh, game design is an art, not a science. <laughs>